Hi, for those of you that are new to Twitter, I'm going to show you how to compose a tweet and some of the pieces that um, are used in tweeting. Now, any post on Twitter is considered a tweet. So whether you post it, you reply, you link, or you have a location update, it's very similar to um, updating your status on Facebook. The one main difference between Twitter and Facebook is that you are confined to only having a maximum of 140 characters and that's due to the mobile constraints of like texting and things like that. Um, so I'm going to walk you through the steps of doing that. So I assume that you already have a, an account and um, have gotten your Twitter handle. So looking at your main home page um, there's two different ways to compose a tweet. The first way is to go over here to the right and click on this little blue rectangle with the feather in it and obviously it says compose a new tweet. I'll click on that. Now I can update my status and talk about what's going on and that's just a simple tweet. Right now I am screen casting this for potential users. And you can see down here that I have 87 characters left. If I want to send this out into the Twitter world, all I need to do is simply hit Tweet. And as I do that, you'll see on my timeline here, these include the people that I am following and my tweets. You can see that it appeared. Right now, I am screencasting this for potential users. And that is the simplest way. The other way that you can do that on your um, home page is if you look here, there is a a text box says compose a new tweet. I can go through the same process. Um, left click on that. Again, you can see I have 140 characters and I could type in a tweet. Now, in your uh, text boxes to compose tweets, you'll notice a few things. You do notice that there's a camera down here. So if you have an image in a file or if you're using a smart device like an iPhone or an iPad, you can take a picture and you can link that within your tweet. You can also add a location. So if you are tweeting about something and you want to make sure people identify or know where you're at, you can click on that and that will identify your location. So those are the two ways to compose a simple tweet. Now, how to add some spice to your tweet? Well, another way to add some things to your tweet is to mention another person out on Twitter. And you do that by using the at sign. So if I'm going to send a tweet to somebody, I want to mention them. And what that'll do is as people who are following those other people, they will get your tweet as well. So that's kind of the power of Twitter when you begin to mention other people. Because not only your followers will get the tweet, but their followers will as well. So I'm going to mention somebody in a tweet. So again, I have my tweet box open right now. And I'm going to mention another teacher in our building. So. I use the at symbol, which mentions her, and I'm going to use her, her tagline, so it's Tron Ward. So, this tweet now will go out to all my followers and all of her followers. You can see that I still have 131 characters, and I can type whatever I want. So, um, good luck with class today. Uh, so this is a teacher in my building. So as I send this out now, and I tweet this, this will show up in her timeline, my timeline, and anybody else out there that is following her, their timeline as well. And this is where Twitter gets to be um, a very powerful tool for teachers who are trying to grow their personal learning network and, and are trying to find information. If you begin to mention other people that you're following or you mention other people in the Twitter world, other people will see those tweets and, and the ability to get information becomes exponential. Uh, another thing that you can do when you compose a tweet is you can use what is called a hashtag. A hashtag is similar to blogging. You're basically tagging a tweet. And this allows people to search for that hashtag and can find different things um, that are related to a certain subject. So, again, I'm going to compose a tweet. I'm not going to mention anybody in it this time, but I'm going to um, hashtag at the end of it. So, um, right now I am live on live screen casting for new... Twitter, having trouble spelling today, Twitter 
different users. And I want this to be underneath the subject of Ed Chat. Now, you notice that I put the number sign in front of Ed Chat, and that is what identifies it as a hashtag. So this is going to come up as an identifier. So I'm going to send this tweet out. And you can see that this again has appeared in my timeline and it's also going to appear in anybody else's timeline that is following me. But you will notice that number sign, so hashtag EdChat is in blue. And if I put my cursor on that, this will allow me to find any other tweet out there that has this hashtag in it. So I'm just going to click on this right now. So this is the search part of Twitter. So I can see right now I have all of these tweets that people have used for EdChat. And it covers all sorts of various different topics, but it gives me some ideas of some of the, the communications and some of the information that's going out there in the education world. I'm going to go back to my home page and I'm going to compose another tweet. And this time I'm going to use just a little different hashtag. So um, our first graders are currently in using Storybird. And I am going to hashtag it this time as first chat. So there's a first grade chat out there. So again, I'm going to tweet this. And when I do that, again, you can see this is on my timeline. This will go to anybody else who's following me their timeline as well. But you can, again, see that first chat is in blue. So I can, again, click on this. And I will find all the tweets that have the hashtag first chat in it. And again, this is a discussion around first grade classrooms. And you can see most people identify their tweets with multiple hashtags. So it allows their tweets to be found and gets information out um, in a pretty powerful way. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how to compose a tweet, how to mention others in it so that they receive your tweet and their followers receive the tweet, and how you can identify topics within your tweet by using hashtags.